Hey everybody, welcome back to Cabin TV. This is Peter Hannert, CEO of Cabin Images. And uh, today I'm coming to you from the Catskills because our New York office is closed for the COVID. It's a bummer, but the Catskills is nice and I feel pretty lucky. I'm taking it down to a cool spot at the bottom of our house. We call it Bear Bottom. Uh, it's a good spot to hang out. Today's episode is an easy one, quick one. What is the difference between a distributing agency and a traditional agency? And the bonus question, uh, should I be exclusive to an agency? All right, we're gonna get all the details, insider stuff. And you can figure out what works best for your stuff. Okay, I'm gonna flip the camera around so we can check out this cool spot. Okay, there's Rue. Here's a nice spot to sit. Not bad. Okay, coming to you from the Catskills. Let's get down to it. All right, let's see if we can, let's see if we can nail this. Hey everybody. All right, today's easy. What's the difference between a distributing agency like Cavan or Weston 61 or Stocksy, kind of, uh, and a traditional agency like Getty, Adobe, Shutterstock, those guys. Uh, a distributing agency is a single point of contact where you put your work into one place and it goes to all the good agencies around the world. Uh, Cavan works with about 20 to 30 different agencies. There's probably a hundred or so in the world, that, uh, but 20 to 30 are good. The other ones to uh, contribute to them is a pain in the ass. Their accounting isn't great. Uh, anyway, we work with um, well-vetted uh, a list of agencies and in my mind this is my opinion but there's about 30 good ones West End 61 is kind of the same deal as Cabin those guys are awesome we love you West End 61 uh, Stocksy also great people run in that place uh, but they only dist uh, distribute to Adobe so it's kind of distributing agency but not really traditional agencies like Getty Shutterstock and uh, Adobe you gotta submit to each one. Process for submitting is a little bit different. It's kind of a pain in the ass. Um, and if you were to attempt 30 agencies, that would be a nightmare. So what's the benefit of a distributing agency is that you get all the work done. Uh, it goes out to the largest audience possible, but you, get, you have to split the money with the distributing agency. On the traditional agency side, you have to do all the work. You probably won't be able to get the, as big a list uh, but you get to keep all the money. So, what's better? The number one rule in stock is to get in front of the biggest audience. The biggest audience is through a distributing agency. But Getty, Shutterstock, and Adobe are the largest three. And after that, it's pretty small. So I think revenue-wise, you got 20% coming from those big, each of those big three, and 40% coming from like Cavan and the rest of the world. So you could do three traditional agencies and hit most of the people. You'd be missing out on the other cabin 40%, but uh, you'd be doing pretty well. In the end, the math works out to about the same. If you can handle seven premium agencies uh, as opposed to our 30 um, and keep all the money as opposed to splitting it with us. So that's the rundown. Oh, bonus question. So should you be exclusive to any one agency? If it's a traditional ans uh, agency, the answer is no, do not. That is a total mistake. Uh, the goal for stock photography is to get the biggest audience possible. Uh, being exclusive to one will never make up for the lack of revenue from the other two. So do not do that. Yeah, but you're exclusive 
Yes, all distributing agencies are exclusive because the content goes out all over the world to all the good agencies and you can't double it up. So we have to be exclusive, but we are getting you the biggest audience possible. And that's really the, the rule number one, biggest audience possible. Get your stuff in front of as many buyers as you can. All right, I hope that helps. Hey, if you like insider stuff for stock photography, subscribe. We're gonna have lots of good info coming up. And leave comments below. If you have questions, we're gonna answer them. And if you have ideas for new videos, that's where we're, we're gonna be making videos based on those, uh, those ideas. So put them below. Thanks, I appreciate you being here. Thanks, see ya.